Hello and welcome everybody, I'm Christian from Berlin and of course I hear you. Here's another easy one and see, this time a boogie woogie. Um, of course you must also check out my easy boogie woogie course. It's free, everything here is free, it's linked in the text box together with my easy blues piano course. Check that one out too. If you enjoyed this, leave your thumbs up, helps my channel to grow. I hope you have fun with this one. Let's go. Hello everybody to this easy boogie woogie in C. Of course in C, if it was in G, it would already be super advanced for some of you. Now, how do, how do we find the middle C? First, I give you a trick. I, I, I used to uh, I find that by finding the middle D, which is here. And then just two half tone steps left to the middle D is the middle C, that's how I find it. And uh, uh, we start with the intro, of course. And this is stolen, it's not my idea. Uh, it's stolen from another Boogie Woogie by Axel Zwingberger. And he stole it from a famous song. We are a bunch of thieves here. Um, but I don't know the ori origin of this. It's very famous, I don't know. Military March or something? Help me write in the comment where this is from. Um, we deal with highlights here in my lesson. You know, there's a slow replay coming afterwards where you can learn at your own tempo at half speed. And uh, we start straight away because the intro is just chord notes, basically. And uh, we start with the upbeat. Here. And then we go. Left hand is, of course, the uh, sushi method. Why sushi? Because we only need two sticks to be successful. Okay? Sushi. Well, no, that's actually true. We need three sticks because we play this, of course. Christian, come on, put yourself together. So we have. And since it's repeated, it's worth having a look. First, of course, now look the route I'm taking. Mm hmm. You guessed right. It's just the, the uh, note of the C major triad. It couldn't be easier. Just have to do your oversetting, and then we do something which you know from my Albert Emmons uh, lessons in my Easy Boogie Woogie course. Go and check my Easy Boogie Woogie course. It's linked in the description box where you learn all the standards. And we have a look. It comes goes like this: one and to two and three and four and here. That is right. That's the upper part of the C7, and even you can play this. Uh, here, yeah. the fifth of C, the minor seven of C, and the C itself. Do this a couple of times separately, and you already managed the first three lines of the boogie. So it uh, goes down C chord, and then and on the C chord. Okay, we go on. It just happens twice. 
and then we go to F, the um, the twin brother of C, and it go, we do this here. A little bit action already in the first chorus. And why is it easy? Because even if you have a really chunky um, hand, uh, whatever, then this is a great uh, way to provide some action because you just have to sh ha have to shake your um, your wrist. So that's much easier. So you can play this like, and then. Yeah, okay. We climb from the G to the F and we climb to the minor seven and the triplet. Okay. And three and three and four. Now we come to the dominant. Are you the dominant type in your family? Well, uh, about 90%, 88% of here are male. So are you dominant in your family? Here you can finally be dominant if your wife is the dominant one at home. Uh, enjoy the dominant G7 here because we have a very old school element here. And two and three. And we just go down our beloved sixth here. You can do that even if you just use also the um, sushi method in the right hand. Oh, sushi is actually if you have to grab something like this. That is the sushi method. Oh, like playing the B flat like this. That's much harder. Okay. So, okay. One and two and three and four and hold on G. And two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two. And very Albert Ammons style. Very much. Oh, even better than I'm Albert Ammons. They don't, they don't call me Albert Christian from Berlin for nothing. Okay. Uh, one and two and three and four and one and two and the with the A. Okay, now we come to the next one. And here again, we have triplet, triplet action. Triplet action here. Okay, what is this? Uh, you, that question is not even serious, right? It's uh, it's the upper part of C, so. And here. Hold on. Um, we play the th the th th C. E flat. Again, on the dotted note here, that's how far you uh, you must go with me on easy. Two sixteenths notes on the dotted here. So three and to four and one. And we play the same down here. Okay, one, two, three, and to four. Play two five here. Then you can play the two five. You play two four, four here, and you do the same. You just move like one of these industrial cranes, like. Very German way to describe that. Um, okay, then we do the same again. Okay, we were here. And. And. Uh. And this is again. A beautiful uh, classical, not classical, classic um, boogie woogie thing here. Again, we have these triplets. Now look, and we are on F7, right? Subdominant, subdominant, who's the subdominant in your family? Your kids, probably. Okay. We have the F7 with the 9 here on top. And what we do is we stay with the thumb here for a while. And then we just go the thirds down here. And then the th next third. So it's just a little walk between the upper third. This stays the same and it sounds um, 
quite expensive, although the thumb is just in between knocking the A. Okay. Yeah. Uh, sorry. Okay, again. One, two, three, four, one, and. Oh, sorry. sorry. Uh, hold on. Hold on. What did I do there? Yeah, sorry, there was a little misprint in my own sheet music. Okay, we again, we are here and. Now. Here. You can use the thumb me here three times. One, ba, ba. And this uh, almost the same as before. One and two and three. Two sixteenths. Yeah? Circling the E. You learn that in my boogie boogie courses. Circling the E. E is here. We come from the right. We come from the left. And bam, we hit it. One. And. And now we do a variation of this thing. Yeah? yeah? One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. What happens? We uh, raise the frequency that causes energy to grow. Uh, you know, like one, normal, and now we, we double the rate. Okay, so very easy to remember, just doubling the rate, the second part, uh, and then we go to something, uh, also a standard thing, but I think I haven't used it yet in, in a boogie boogie, so. Yeah, it's a, you might know the sound, but you have never played it. That's why you're here. Okay. Typical boogie thing like. Yeah, but everything a little bit. Uh, so this, you can start this much slower. You know, you, it starts, it sounds also good at like boogie, uh, at blues tempo, no? You know. Start, sounds good like this. And here we are, third chorus. Uh, we take the, um, the G and the C, both are chord notes of C. Again, you to remember the starting point and we just go this and we finish on the nine. That makes the sound here, the ninth. Yeah, the tension here comes from the nine. And we repeat it. Da, da, dun. Da, 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 da. Okay, and then comes the, that comes the hard bit. Okay, so. Be fast. Here. Here. That, that, this is your challenge. And then comes this. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you would love it. Okay. What do we, what do we hear here? First, uh, uh, no, this is the second C bar. Again, we are in the third C bar now. Two and three and four to, and there you rest here i don't want to didn't want to bother you with having to continue this because it's getting really tight rhythmically so you rest here and in this time during this time that i gave you you come you go to the middle c again remember middle d two half tone steps is the middle c so you you come to the middle c with the thumb and it's just octaves and you walk down from octave b flat a we reached final destination or final F. Okay, what do you do in the right hand? One and two and three and four to and if you can grab it like this, but this band is really nice. Uh, like uh, not Jesus gave it, but God gave us this band. Um, why? To give our kids a temple massage, you know, when they have headache and. This way we can, with one hand, with the left hand, we hold the uh, mashed potatoes. And with this big span, we can give a temple massage to small heads. That's why we have this big span here. And here, and of course, for Boogie Boogie, for this moment here. 
so and then if you can you would roll it a little bit you tremolo and I did it quite I, I did it in a friendly way so you in uh, at no moment you are overcharged overburned um, like da, da, da. you can rest here uh, while you play this and rest and move, move you have enough time here and here you can tremolo because you only have octaves to play okay and then comes and there's another energizer it's uh, the Gatorade of easy boogie woogie it's cheap relatively cheap um, compared to other energizers so um, and it energizes well done so here oh, we are on f7 now triplets i hardly have to tell you and here yeah again we have you we are on f where are we um, ba, 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 ba. So we have a brief moment. What is this chord? Don't think in four notes. Don't think in four notes. Think in one chord. Everybody, anybody knows what this is? Yeah, this, this is right. It's the C diminished. If we add this, we have the diminished chord is one, two, three, um, one minor third, another minor third on top, and another minor third. And here's C again. This is also a minor third. So. Very typical boogie boogie thing going back, ga, ga, da, ba. Okay, so one and two and and three and one and now we come towards the end. Uh, sorry, and uh, three and four and no what up here, sorry. Again, action, triplet action, also a classical old school element. Here we have the, uh, we go between, we are on G, and we go from the G is the, is the uh, A, the ninth of G. You find that easily by going to the G, walking up one half tone step, another one, and there's already the A. A short trip. And we go directly into the intro, which is now the outro. Bravo, Christian, it was wrong. Christian, do it right this time. One note. And you're done. Start slowly, start slowly. If you accelerate, then not at the cost of cluttering. Um, uh, what is what is actually what does cluttering mean? Is that right? Okay, so uh, be aware of the sixteenth like that you're tight, tight together. Don't play it like this. Oh, I'm a boogeyman. Yeah, 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 yeah. I gotta do my first gig for the deaf, for the numb, blind, mute, for the deaf. Yeah, that's right. The hearing impaired. Yeah, then you can have a gig. Um, otherwise, um, stay stay tight. Uh, open your ears. And they are together. Together. Yeah. Now it's coming the slow replay. And see you next time. Bye.